Wow, what a game, CNM viewers. The Miami Heat got a very difficult home victory tonight against a scrappy Indiana Pacers squad who had been 4-0 and under interim coach Frank Vogel. The final score of the game was 117-112 to for the Heat. In many ways, the game looked similar to the November 2010 beatdown that the Pacers put on Miami in South Florida. The Heat lost that contest by a score of 93-77, to and it dropped the much-hyped Heat to 8-6 and on the year. Miami would fall to 9-8 and before they began to dramatically turn their season around. Still, the earlier loss to the Pacers is likely the low mark of the season for the Heat and the Big Three. Through three quarters of tonight's contest, it looked as though Indiana was ready to give a repeat performance of the earlier matchup. The Pacers were shooting around 57% from the field, crushing Miami on the glass and frustrating the Heat with their athletic length. The Heat turned it around in the fourth quarter, however, behind some tough defense, clutch play from the big three, and a couple of nice plays from veteran center Eric Dampier. All told, the Heat outscored Indiana 27-15 in the fourth quarter to seal the win. LeBron James and Chris Bosh each had seven points in the final period. Dampier and Dwayne Wade chipped in with four points apiece in the fourth. Indiana shot just 5 of 18 from the field in the final period after blistering the Nets the rest of the game. LeBron James led Miami with 41 points, 13 rebounds, and 8 assists. He had 5 dunks in the first half alone, including several monster ones. We'll put a link in the video description to the NBA.com highlight page so you can catch some of these throwdowns for yourself. Chris Bosh added 19 points and 7 rebounds in the win, while Dwayne Wade finished with 17 points, 3 boards, and 7 assists in the victory. The Pacers were led by center Roy Hibbert's 20 points and 10 rebounds. Forward Danny Granger added 19 points and 3 assists, and reserve power forward Tyler Hansbrough contributed 18 points and two boards in the defeat. Miami improves to 38 and 14 on the year following the victory. The Heat have the third best record in the NBA behind the San Antonio Spurs and the Boston Celtics. Miami has won seven games in a row. Indiana drops to 21 and 28 after this loss. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal.